I think they probably should be even a Twitter feed, like <laughs> Ugly the Dog from the artist got his Twitter feed, so maybe Brian Eno's cat should have its own. It does have a DVD extra, dedicated entirely to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the most laughter was actually during this session. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 one of my favourite comments that somebody's had coming up to me after a show was they said, I want to thank you because I'm never going to take Brian Eno seriously again. <laughs> <laughs> Which is some kind of service, I think. Um, but uh, how it happened was that uh, when you interview Brian, you have this incredibly short window of time. Um, it, they give you half an hour, half an hour to get in, set up, do the interview and get out. And there's usually a queue of people. And um, he has, as you can see, a cat. And he said to me, um, oh, the cat's here. Do you want me to get the cat out? It likes to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, being a lover of chaos, I said, leave the cat in. Yeah. And actually the cat, the extras, made up of a lot of the cat sort of swishing its tail in Brian's face and climbing all over his microphone. And there's a, one of my favorite bits is Brian's just trying to get rid of the cat at one point. Because I'm quite happy about it. In fact, I'm very entertained by it generally. And some of the pictures are overexposed in that interview because I'm exposing them for the cat's face. <laughs> so Brian's head's kind of a bit bright. Um, but he, he's sitting there and he's going, wait, can you just go, go, get out. Go and eat Atlantic fish nibbles or whatever it is you do. <laughs> so, any comments or questions? Yes.